Welcome to Any Resources 20 second video on how to make a browser based MORG. This is Halls of Valhalla. Um, one thing I want to do with a couple more videos, we're going to stop exactly where we're at. We're going to go, we're going to finish the quest system a little later. I know it's been a while since I put out a video, and so I want to go over some things. First off, some of the errors that I've, I've seen a lot on the forums where people have been posting, hey, what's this error? I want to go over it because, as some of you know, WAMP has a new version, and with that new version, it's, it's, it's catching some of the um, non-standard uh, PHP coding that we're using as far as the way we're doing things. So I want to go through the tutorial section, go through what we have so far, and fix those errors real quick. Get the game to where it's back to working again, because I know we had some issues with the last video. I don't think I ever got the code up, so people were had some mistakes in there. So I want to get everything working, and then we're going to continue on to a private message system and to a guild system real quick. I mean, they're really simple, so it shouldn't take us too long, a couple videos. Um, I'll try to get them all out right there in succession where you guys aren't waiting on them, but it'll kind of give us uh, something something new to add to it, and then we'll go back to the quest system and continue on with that. So um, I've I've added I basically got I'm on a different laptop now, so I've added everything, got everything working again, and I noticed whenever I was looks like the store's working whenever I was visiting a couple places, it wasn't working on us. Um, looks like everything is working so far. Can use the item. Exit arena. How about our map? Okay. Ah, there we go. Undefined variable bypass 97. So we're in armorshop.php. So let's pull up our armor shop. Let's look at line 97, which I already know what the problem is going to be. If bypass does not equal one, well, bypass was never defined in here. So, um, bypass equals one. It was defined there, but it was never defined if, um, if is set get bought was never. So basically, we just need to define it. So all anytime you get that kind of error, it's most likely because you have not defined it. Just as like a, basically, you're almost making it a constant. You're just kind of saying, hey, this this variable is there. You're defining it, even though it equals zero. It's still been defined. That way, when it goes and looks for it, it for if it equals one or doesn't equal one, it'll it'll at least say see that something is there. So let's go back to our code. Let's refresh. Um, what did I do? Oops, I may have stuck it in the wrong place. No, oh, I didn't save. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna see some errors real time, which I'm hoping I'm hoping we do a lot of real time error. Uh, troubleshooting so you guys can kind of see the quickest way to do it. Next thing is undefined constant price, assume price in line 117. So let's take a look at what that might be. 117 we have ah anytime you see that undefined constant this is this is the old way we used to do it. Um, <clears throat> I never used to never get errors on the old um, WAMP. Technically it still works but the newer WAMP and the newer host the newer um, servers will throw an error out here so you might want to all you got to do is just put these in between these single quotation marks and it'll fix it so we'll save that we'll refresh and there you go it's all fixed so let's try to buy some armor there now we're in armor shop bot we got the, once again undefined constant in line 82 80 81 and 82 so let's go back which I could have did a just find all and fixed it but this is better just for showing it. Let's so make sure we don't have any more. Now that doesn't mean that you want to want to actually change those anywhere they're inside, um, which there isn't really a good example here. But like here, if it's inside of double quotation marks, don't put single quotes in there. That's going to probably throw an error. Okay, I think that's it. So let's save it. Let's refresh. Uh, goodbye. What is that? Light leather, curious purchased, goodbye. Where is it? Let's look to see what, what's going on there. Um, oh, it's because it's, it, it's the exit greeting. So really what we need to do is we need to drop that line right there. That way it makes a little more sense. Let's put two line spaces. I'm going to refresh it. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop something in between there so it looks a little... A little nicer. Okay. Go back. So that's done. Let's check out our weapon store. Let's buy a weapon. Dagger purchased. You may want to go ahead and drop a couple lines in between there. 
our weapon shop. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Visit spell trainer. Let's train a spell. Everything looks like it's working. Um, battle's working. Uh, let's use some magic. The only thing we need to do is we need to make it to where they can't get another, they can't continue to learn these spells over and over again. Okay, so all that's fixed. For those of you that had trouble with the actual locations of having different creatures in different locations and different shops having different things, this is the fixed version, so I'm going to up upload it. Um, well, we got a lot of equipment, so make sure equipment works. That's something I may change too, is I may make this to where it doesn't leave it, it just automatically reposts it. Uh, let's make sure this is working. Okay, everything looks like it's working. All of our tables look good. So that should put everybody back to fixed with this new upload. I'm going to end this video kind of short. And the next video we're going to do, we're going to start on a private message system and a profile for our players. We need to start getting into, I know everybody keeps keeps telling me, hey, why, when are we going to get into the MMO, true MMO version of this? And that's what we're going to start now. We're, we're going to get get there.